Hey everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. If you last remember, I got into a uh, grudge fight with a bunch of trolls because I am an overgrown child. This episode won't be nearly as long. It'll actually be shorter than usual, but we're actually going to go do what I was going to do originally, but totally failed on. So, and that is go to these mountaintops and claim the dragon shout that gives you a thing in the blob. So, let's go. I'm also totally mad right now because I bought the Logitech PowerPlay mouse pad that like charges your mouse while it goes. But um, it turns out that if you have a metal desk, it will not work. And it just happens that my desk is a highly conductive metal. So that's fantastic. At least I have a wireless mouse stuff again because I have the G903 mouse and the little receiver for it ended up breaking from uh, it being my laptop bag and it just stopped working with the mouse and I had to get to the point where my mouse would randomly disconnect and that actually I think happened once during a video but I like briefly saved it and act like a uh, nothing was going on so there's actually quite a few videos where the mouse just stops moving i try to totally play it cool as i'm like scrambling and trying to push the mouse receiver back into place so if you're ever watching an older video of mine um and the mouse just stops moving that is why because the wireless receiver uh, gave out on me but with the uh, power play mouse pad, I now have wireless capabilities, even without the charging. So it's bittersweet. All right, now that I've gone on the mouse pad ramp, let's um, continue exploring and see what kind of fun stuff we can find. <sighs> oh. So, all right, um, someone is living here. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Uh, I just wanted to talk to you. You seem like a cool guy. Whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. I am caught mid-arrow right now. That's great. Alright, let's um, switch to some better stuff here. <laughs> so, I didn't know this guy was in here. I... But apparently, he is not friendly. And now I have to worry about this. Let's see, Chilren would definitely help out in this situation. So let's give it a common soul gem here. There we go. Chill rent at its finest. Why did he attack me? Ah, crap. I hope he wasn't essential. It's all steel. Ah, crap. He was probably essential. Because all this stuff is steel. 
Why is it all steel? Why did he attack me? It doesn't make any sense. Are there any books that tell me what's going on? Ugh. It's all steel. He had to have been essential. Well, not like essential, essential, but like, you know, come up later on. Yeah, I'm going to back out of this. And, um... Shoot. So we're going to pop back before he's dead and then uh, do a sneaky sneak. And... Just walk out. Because... If it turns out that he's part of a quest later on, I don't want him dead. There's a Nordic temple over there, which that'll be fun to pillage. And there's also one up there. Shoot. Well, let's go do this one first, I guess. There's so many of these temples, I swear. Uh, maybe when I feel like it, I'll actually go and do some main quest line stuff, but I don't know. I don't really feel like doing it, just mostly because you can only go and through and do the quests uh, so many times before they just lose their, their luster, so... Crap, I don't know how I'm going to get around this mountain. It seems a little bit out of my climbing abilities. Which, if you don't know, or if you can't tell, my climbing skills in Skyrim are not to be trifled with. You know, it's probably behind the mountain. So, rather than uh, climbing over it, um, let's do the... Can't go under it, can't go through it, can't go under it, have to go around it. Oh, hey, the dragon's place I'm talking about is up there. That's the one I was trying to get to last episode, but went to the wrong one. And this is also not a good place for me to be, like, at all. So... But because we're stubborn and idiotic, we're going to go here anyways, uh, kill some of the Draugr Death Lords, and uh, get some Ebony Weapons. So, um, assuming that we don't get one shot, shot it by the uh, Death Lords, of course. Which very well may end up being the case. Oh well. I think we're actually going to fight the, um, the uh, Dragon Priest. <sighs> That'd be nice. So I found that it's actually a lot, uh, you've got to be kidding me, wisps. Or, uh, ice ring. No, these are wisps. That means there's a wisp another nearby. Great. Just great. Where is the Wisp Mother? Oh. There she is. Oh, crap. I'm going to die. Well, thankfully, um, I have a ton of healing potions that weren't used because I never had to fight. What's his face? So... Crap, this is not going well at all. So we're going to charge this. And this. And then we're going to go to potions and use a poison of... That. And then we're going to take... That... And that, and that, and that, and this. Ha, 
How can she still see me? It doesn't make any sense. Potions. Plentiful healing. I gotta keep hitting her with my, uh, orcish sword here because it's healing me. So I gotta just keep the damage up. There we go. That's that's what I'm talking about. And this still isn't the one I thought it was. You've gotta be kidding me. The one I'm looking for gives you the shout that has all three of them at once. Ugh. And we have the first start of Frost Breath. Okay, cool. Still not what I want, though. There's something up there that I want to go see. I don't know what it is. Oh, shoot. Are we really over here right now? Crap, I didn't realize we were all, we were all, we were all the way um, at uh, Dagon's area. Huh. Well, all right. And there's an ice race down there. That's fantastic. And a wizard battle, too. And a stone over there. What else is nearby? Okay, so I'm pretty sure the dragon stone one that I want is over here. So, we're going to explore that stone. And then... Also, run away from the ice wreath because I hate those things. Or kill it. I don't know. Either way, we gotta do something about it. Ah, oh, gosh. This thing is slippery. Did I get him? Okay, I got him. Ugh. Those things are like this just, just terrible to deal with. Because their hitboxes are just difficult, and everything is difficult, and it's just not good at all. Alright. Bandits, or someone else? Ah, cool. Too easy. And I actually did that pretty quietly too. Y'all should be thanking me. The Lord Stone, what does it do? Uh, cancel. I like my invisibility stone pretty much, like, a lot, so. Let's go check the mountain in between. Oh, boy. All right. So we need to go this way, up this mountain right there. Or at least get close and see if it has some fun stuff up there.
Um, I might end up replacing the Skyrim series with uh, Fallout 4 eventually, just as a heads up. And then taking a break from Skyrim and then coming back to it when uh, the time feels right. So I might be kind of switching between the two. Or I might do Oblivion, I don't know. Because I think that because this episode is episode 20, I might end up switching it. So, don't be surprised if Skyrim temporarily is put to rest and replaced with something else. That's my little warning for now. I don't know for sure if this is what's going to happen, but that might end up being the case. Just because I would really like to kind of branch out a little bit and do some other stuff because I've been doing the same. Um, I've been doing this game in particular for quite a while now. It may not seem like it, but Skyrim is one of the older series on here. And with Astroneer being officially released pretty soon, you might be seeing Astroneer coming back. So, just a heads up, I don't know if it's official yet, I might keep this going until episode 30, but if you're an avid fan of this series, just let me know if you want this to keep going, or if you would rather uh, see something like um, Skyrim, or not Skyrim, <laughs> See something like Fallout 4 or um, something new, like Astro, or I guess something else like Astroneer or Bring Back No Man's Sky or something like that. But I really didn't give No Man's Sky a good chance, to be fair. Um, the three minute load time is a huge, 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 huge turn away, uh, just in general. So. But, who knows, maybe, um, maybe Skyrim might get replaced with random games being played instead, or something. Or maybe I'll keep Skyrim, the Skyrim slot going as like an RPG kind of thing, and then replace it with Fallout 4, maybe do modded Skyrim or something like that. And then once Subnautica ends, start doing random games and whatnot, and just free uploads. So... I think that I need to really expand the games that I do rather than just the four right now. Which those four are Minecraft, Skyrim, Subnautica, and Stardew Valley. So, I might be adding Terraria or a couple other suggestions like the forest to the list of things. But it's really all up for um, debate right now of what I decide to do. Because I've got a lot on my plate and I'm not sure if adding a brand new series is a good idea. So. Uh, Okay, so apparently the entrance for the uh, tomb is below here somewhere. So, let's see what we got. The Dragon Priest's Shrine. This one doesn't seem like it's in good condition, though. Like it's missing a few of them. Interesting. Very interesting. I have kind of a... I don't think I've actually ever done the Dragon Priest stuff before. Just out of... 
never actually being able to collect all this stuff for it. Um, let's see. Let's see. There's so much just miscellaneous stuff, and it's like, I don't want to do any of it right now. Because I've played this game so many times, I just want to do something interesting for once. Like, explore and just cause chaos. It's not very often that I just get to go and play a game and not worry about the quest lines and just sort of enjoy what the um, creators build. Come on. Oh, get juked. Get juked, boy. Get juked. What you gonna do, boy? You giving up? Are you really giving up? Nope, you're just tricking me. Okay. Oh, you actually got me. Interesting. Ah, oh, you can reach. Okay. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Come on, you big dummy. Let's go. Oh, I missed. Let's go. Oh, are you throwing a little temper tantrum because you can't catch me? Is that what you're doing? Oh. I wonder what my archery looks like right now for, uh... 53, huh? See power shot. Yeah, that's going to be nice to have. And let's also go over to lock picking, I guess. Should we work on the lock picking tree? I think we'll save the lock picking tree for later, just because I don't really need to worry about it too much, because I'm not terrible at it. Um. Yeah, let's increase our stealth there. Cool. That's definitely going to help out a little bit. An extra 20% to our sneak bonus. Let's go have fun in the Redwater Den. Because if I remember correctly, if you drink the Red Skuma, you become a slave to them or something like that. Like, you actually uh, go through, like, some kind of, like, you know, depression cycle. 
war. Let me see your eyes, buddy. Okay. Go on downstairs. They're bothering me. Ah, welcome. We've seen you here before, have we? Would you buy from me? Or any boots you'd like? You seem to be. Join a booth and relax. Thank you for your service. Um, here. Find a booth. Ah, this is gonna be fun because I know what happens when you do. You go into like a, a hazy state and you end up in the uh, the vampires. this aren't I oh well there's no going back I guess time to kill some vampires <sighs> all right here we go we're gonna wake up in a cage so much more pleasant. We'll have all the drawers there and the boot. Good thing the boss heard that old farmer running his mouth off in the tavern about finding the place. Alright, do I have my stuff right now? Or do they take it all? Okay, I got my stuff. What's a good way to kill a vampire? Probably devour. Hmm. Ah, this is what I'm talking about. Actually, yeah, I do. I know that there is one shooting a bow and arrow at me right now, but where is he at? There he is. Dropped. Alright, let's see what kind of fun stuff we got here. Oh snap, so many alchemy ingredients. This was a great choice. Oh, and drugs. Gotta love drugs. Drugs, 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 drugs. Um. Huh. I want to explore everything, but I don't know if there's enough, like, time for me to do that. Do 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 do. All right, so that's how we get in. Then we end up in here. Nothing really too uh, special. Never mind. Just found the grandest of them all. A goat cheese wheel and a goat cheese wedge. Oh, food. Oh, that wasn't. There we go.
Is he wearing armor? Yep. Thrall. What were you mining? Raw oh, you're just digging. Okay. You're not mining, you're just trying to dig. Oh, bullseye. That's such an interesting term, bullseye. I mean, like, it's obvious what it refers to, but, like, how did it become such a, um, like, renown and, like, universal term of getting a, uh, clean shot? Like, was it really that big of a deal to hit the bull, like, the eye of a bull? Or, um, am I ever thinking things? Probably a mix of them, I guess. There's gotta be a master vampire around here somewhere, right? That's not good. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We're dealing with some stuff that I don't want to deal with right now. We're really getting into that, um, that vampire territory that, uh, has all the spooky stuff. Oh crap, these aren't just... Oh crap, okay, I thought that even if the storyline wouldn't start yet, that I wouldn't have to deal with the, uh, actual vampires, but these are like legit vampires. They're not just your fake, um, you know, oh crap, I can't remember what the, uh, the name of them are. The, the fake vampirism, where it's like a low quality, kind of watered down one. Those are like legit vampires. Which that means I might be able to recover the goblet. That'd be kind of cool. Huh. Oh, so this is the vampire that discovered the, uh, the properties of the red water by listening to the um so why don't you just drink the blood from the spring i mean that seems easy running too much shoot that did not go the way i wanted it to no 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 it did not I missed. <sighs> Hopefully they don't find out they're being hunted. That'd be a real shame. There? No. Let's just hope that it's like fish in a barrel. You shoot a bunch of shots, you're bound to hit one. Looks like we got one too. Perfect. Just what I was hoping for. Ah, you poor Nord. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Absolutely friggin' nothing. Hmm. 
this is becoming a bit more of an adventure than I first intended it to be. Oh, that was a trap chest. That's not good. <sighs> oh, poor high elf. You poor, poor thing. Oh, crap. I'm going to die from that. Um, could be cheese wheel. Um, yeah, I gotta get out of here pretty quickly because I'm gonna end up dying from just walking near the spikes. Okay, so there's nothing good and cool down here. So we're missing something then. Oh, right there. Maybe this is where we came out of. Yeah, that's where we came out of. Okay, and that's the trap pit. So, oh, maybe up here. Yeah, there we go. So this should wrap around here and end up near that front gate again where we can pull a chain and open the gate. Yep, right there. Cool. Just what I wanted. Did I find everything or is that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. And if not, I'll end up going back here for the vampirism quest line, so. Which undoubtedly is probably one of my favorite quest lines. Ah, uh, he's not happy to see me at all. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a tricky situation here. Um, I need to drink some more potions and pull out my uh, really cool swords here. Can I charge this or something? Yes, I can. I'm just going to keep hitting them until they die. Oof. Good night. Okay, where is your big boy at? The one that ran. Oh, he ended up dying from uh, other injuries. Unfortunate. Oh. <sighs> It's only cool when you're a vampire. Because when you're not, then it's just annoying. Ugh, there's so many little pits and stuff that I have to worry about checking. Damn. Let's just go in a little drug den, guys. What could possibly go wrong? It's not like I'm forgetting anything. Turns out it's an entire labyrinth. Ah, oh, he's too fast for me. Hello? Who's 
Sorry, buddy. Even if you yield, you would still backstab me because that's just the kind of person you are. No, I just want to tip the bowl over like a cat. Come on. Ah, whatever. I wanted to spill all its contents out and then uh, take it all that way. Oh, I can disenchant that. Or maybe not. We can disenchant that, though. Why are there so many coffins in here? This isn't even a vampire resting place. This is a Nordic tomb. It's like they're actively putting coffins down here. Which is weird if you think about it. Crap. Alright, here we go. We're right there. Oh boy, there's the blood spring. And now I'm a vampire. Great. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. That is... Actually... Interesting. Give me all of them. Wow. Is that all of it? Yep, that's all of it. Okay, so I have every disease in Skyrim right now. Nice. Let's hope I don't run into any combat because I'm gonna die if I do. Like, I'm gonna die, die. Not just like, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Because, wow, do I have a potion of cure disease? Ah, uh, look at that. Instantly saved by the uh, power of disease curing. Okay, I actually saw that earlier while I was walking through, so that's kind of cool that it loops back into here. Maybe not, never mind. I lied. Oh. Oh, well, shoot, maybe without, oh my god, they killed them all. They went through and killed all of them. Well, now we know the truth, I guess. The ugly truth. See, they have no idea. Okay. There's one more. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Last second detection. <sighs> well, shoot, there we go. The Redwater Den has been cleared. And I think that's where I'm going to call this episode at its end. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed me clearing out some dirty old vampires. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode.